Hello, good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, my name is Oleg, and I want to say that uh, Giant Magellan Telescope, after James Webb Telescope, it's the most powerful telescope, uh, letting very nearly not only lo looking some potentially inhabited planets, but and even look, looking very nearly some spaceships, etc. But how I know in the constellation of Orion, uh, how uh, that's mean how how I did heard. Uh, the meaning of uh, spaceships uh, almost uh, don't using. They're using meaning space trains w with uh, space airport of one Earth to second Earth. And uh, was uh, Giant Magellan Telescope after JWST is uh, the most powerful telescope for detection uh, of uh, potentially inhabited uh, planets in different star systems, in different constellations. And even uh, for detection some space ships, space trains, etc. Uh, yes, and it's the uh, telescope with seven uh, largest mirrors in the world. And uh, there is a pot potential inhabited planets like Star Tune uh, in the star system of R Regal. with some uh, native activity in the cities, etc. Et like, like Kepler, 180 six in in the space of red star
And of course, uh, mm, Giant Magellan uh, telescope uh, possible can uh, make of photos of some spaceships and space trains. Nearly of some potentially, nearly with some potentially inhabited planets. Uh, like Kep like Kepler 100 uh, 86 uh, somewhere near uh, this planet can uh, possible fly some space ships space trains And of course, uh, in the space of star system of Rigel, of Rigel, nearly with uh, this uh, second inhabited Earth, planet star tune star Earth, should, fl should too uh, fly some space ships, space trains, etc. And of course, these space ships, space trains, uh, should be artifacts for future detection of it um, through Giant Magellan Telescope. Thanks for watching and wish you have a good day.